a 2019 Porsche 911 992 Carrera S. Now, I speak about Porsches a lot. I think the 992 signifies one of the biggest jumps in 911. Um, some really big steps that Porsche have taken with this particular version of the car uh, and some amazing updates with technology as well. So it really brings the 911 to its current place. Now, I'll run you through loads of those changes with this car, but more importantly, let's talk about this car specifically. This car carries over 15,000 pounds worth of optional extras. It's finished in that amazing Porsche GT silver metallic. That's a thousand pound cost option on its own with the full black leather interior with the contrast stitching again, a lovely, lovely cost option. I want to show you some of the amazing changes with the designs for the 992 as well. And this car's a really good example to show that to you with. So firstly, the bonnet is changed. You have a much squarer bonnet cut out and it scoops itself all the way into the front bumper where previous generations, the bonnet finished a lot higher up. A really 993-esque design sort of nod there for me. And this car now is the first 911 generation where you are able to have the PDLS Plus light system as a matrix beam LED light system. And this car is fitted with it. An amazing, amazing option for these. Very expensive. Finished with a black insert on the inside of the lights. A fabulous adaptive headlight. A really, really cool feature to have on one of these cars now. Whole front bumper has been redesigned for the 992 and you've got park sensors front and rear on this specific car. Lovely little LED daytime running lights which second up as your indicators. And then this car is fitted with the, the surround camera package, the amazing surround camera package. And you can see that front camera there just hidden under the number plate. Really beautifully fitted, but it's a Porsche. Of course it would be. Full colored crests on the bonnet, full colored crests on the centers of the wheels as we move nicely to the front passenger side corner. That, believe it or not, is a lovely cost option and you would not believe how many cars do not have full colored crests on the wheels. 20 inch Carrera Classic alloy wheels, a really lovely wheel option as well. For me, these cars can look very under wheeled and under tired if you buy the wrong wheels with your car and I think this one has been done perfectly. Finished absolutely exquisitely. You've got this lovely metallic gray on the inside of the spokes and a full uh, diamond cut finish on the faces of the spokes. Porsche Motorsport derived floating discs with big guards red Porsche brake calipers there with the logo on them. Really cool, really, you know, as I keep saying, very 911. Moving down the passenger side, on the bottoms of these completely redesigned mirrors, on the bottoms of these mirrors, you've got the cameras there, that is part of your surround camera pack as well. So a really nice nod there. You can see what that is. But again, a completely redesigned mirror, really good looking mirror on the 992. Glass opening panoramic roof. Car is just loaded with options. Comfort access. This car is keyless entry and keyless go. The new door handles for me is a really lovely feature. They're sitting out now, but they actually sit down. They, they electrically drop into the door and almost sit flush with the door. A first for the 911. Go inside and have a look at this interior. And here for me is the biggest update between the 991 and the 992. The interior is a very, very different place. New GT Sport Plus seats in this car with these square edges to the top of the shoulders here. Completely different to any other seat that you can have in this car and they're a cost option on their own. The beautiful white contrast stitching throughout the Bose surround sound system that this car has got, you can see that on the passenger door card there. Again, some more lovely features specific to this car. It's a really amazing example of a 992. Coming around the back, again, here are some more changes. You've got privacy glass to the, three, the rear three quarters of the car, including that big rear glass window. You've got these lovely high mounted brake lights here, but obviously you have this new, extremely large deployable rear wing. Now, when that rear wing lifts up, obviously it covers those brake lights. It has a separate brake light on the underside of it, but also on the 992, you have this bar, this light bar that runs all the way across the back of the car, a completely new thing for the 992. So the concave lights are still there from the 991, but they're updated. And then this lovely light bar running across the whole width of the rear end of the car and these sort of completely individually cut out letters 
for the Porsche logo in the back there as well. Some really fabulous detail. And then this car has the sports exhaust system, which means you get two twin oval exhausts at the back of the car there. That exhaust system is switchable, which makes this make a lot more noise. And that is something that I think is very important about the 992. The 992 carries an updated version of the three liter turbocharged flat six from the last generation of the 991. However, it's been reworked heavily in my opinion. It's a lot louder, it's got a lot more response, a lot more torque. It's a far, far more responsive car to drive than even a GTS in the previous generation. And for me, it starts to sound like the flat six again. You know, everyone complained about the 991.2 losing that flat six noise. For me, they've regained all of it with this car. Coming down the driver's side, I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna show you some of the amazing features inside because the interior for me is the biggest jump forward for the 992. This car is loaded with features inside as well and I wanna to get to grips with it so you can see. So the car is in the car, the key, I beg your pardon, is in the car, it's in the glove box here. But this car, as I said, comfort access, a really, very, very nice cost option. And here is your keyless, so the key's in the car. That stays there and stays on. And let's walk over, walk over, let's move over to the door card. Obviously you've got your electric buttons for central locking up here. It is fitted with electrically adjustable, heated and electric folding mirrors. And then obviously you've got your window switches down there and your Bose surround sound system here. And then you can see the contrast stitching across the top of the door card there. That follows all the way over the binnacle for the drivers, for the, uh, for the speedometers down here, across the dashboard, and obviously all on the edges of the seats. It's just everywhere. The contrast stitching for me really highlights these seats, really highlights this interior. And I don't know if you can see past me to the other seat, but also another paid for option. The beautiful Porsche crests embossed into the headrests of the seats there. Really, really lovely touch. Let's go through this massively up-to-date high-tech interior. So we still have an analog rev counter in front of me, but now we have four digital screens either side. So four digital speedos, as you, as you would say, either side of that analog dial in the middle. All your driver controls and everything are all adjusted on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. You've got the same features, but your sports chrono clock's a lot easier to use. Everything's updated. All the software's updated. Everything's a lot easier to use. It's a lot faster. It's all just very, very Porsche, very beautifully put together. Now, what we've got in front of us is the multifunction GT steering wheel. This is the newest version of this GT wheel. And I really like how some of these sections are floating. So the buttons actually are floating and there's clear air behind them all the way around. I think that's a really cool bit of design there. And look down here, the car has cruise control. The Manatino system over here has been updated slightly so we can adjust the driving modes. I don't know if you heard the sports exhaust just kick into, kick into life when we went to Sport and Sport Plus. These can all be adjusted. And a new driving mode down here is the wet mode. The 991 didn't have that. Really nice to have. Turns the traction control into a hypersensitive mode for driving and adjusts the revs and so on and so forth so you're a bit safer in the wet weather. Moving across and into the center of the car, this has all been redesigned. We have this whole new PCM, I believe it's PCM5 infotainment system. It's currently connected to my phone, as you can see, so we've got full Apple CarPlay. It's amazingly responsive, a really a super high definition screen as well. I think that's really clear to see. The car has Park Assist, which is here, Porsche Active Safe as well, but you've got your Park Assist systems here, as well as that reverse camera, which I'll just put it onto now, and obviously, the surround camera system as well, which you can see on this side over here. You can see all the cameras around the car. It's a fabulous, fabulous feature to have in this car. I'll drop it back into park. Dual zone climate control inside. Your switchable sports exhaust is up here. Um, your dual zone climate control is underneath on this panel underneath. You've got all of your heated seat functions down here and you have obviously above me now that glass roof. On that glass roof, you have a blind, an electric blind which will obviously come across really lovely feature if it's a bit bright outside and you can make the cabin a little bit darker in here and then the roof does tilt and open so if i just tilt it now you can see the roof tilts and lets a load of air in a really lovely feature to have especially in these cars you know they're a small cabin for a sports car you want to get as much air and as much light into here as possible so that for me is a must-have underneath here you've got 
all of your USB C's, your SIM card, your SD slots in there. I beg your pardon, they're just USBs, not USB C's. A slot for your phone, so everything's really easy if you do want to plug your phone in to use the CarPlay. And if we just come back in very, very briefly, and I'll pull away now from the CarPlay system, and you can see Porsche's new infotainment system here. Super responsive, and I say you don't need to use CarPlay. If you want to use their own maps, you can. You can set this to a Google Maps, you know, um, a Google Maps satellite view as well, but look how responsive it is. It's an amazing, amazing system. And it's very, very easy to go back to CarPlay if you want. You just go straight there. Everything's back to how it was. No, a really wonderful, wonderful car. And I'll jump out now and summarize this car for you. So as we said at the beginning, a 2019 on a 69 registration, 992 Carrera S, I think something really important to be noted about this car is it's a three litre twin turbo flat six, 440 to 450 horsepower, but naught to 60 in this car is 3.5 seconds. This is an incredibly fast car. I don't think there's many all round sports cars that do what a Porsche does, has two seats in the back, the amount of usability it has with the front trunk, and then can still do naught to 60 in 3.5 seconds. What a machine. 12 and a half thousand miles from new, full Porsche history and covered by Porsche warranty until the end of September 2024. 15,000 pounds worth of options for me in the best color of GT Silver Metallic. What a vehicle. My name is Matthew. I hope this vehicle, I hope this vehicle, I hope this video has helped. Thank you very much for watching.